the who is ca vishnu manikam and the use case is tax audit reporting using python so that python again yes so uh, is my screen visible yes it has come now Sorry. Yes, yes, it is visible. Yeah. Yes, sir. So good afternoon to the juries and the other panelists and also the members who are patiently with, uh, listening to this uh, hackathon series. Uh, I'm CA Vishnu Manikam. I'm from Coimbatore. I'm here your, to present. Your voice is not very clear. Uh, maybe if it is a microphone, you can keep it near to your mouth. Uh, actually, it's laptop. Anyway, okay. sir, I'll, I'll talk a bit louder. Uh, yeah. So I am CA Vishnu Manikam. I am from Coimbatore. Uh, we are in the month of April. Uh, wish you a very happy new financial year. And before we know, before we know, we'll be soon in the month of September ready to do our tax audits. So let us be equipped with uh, ChatGPT and uh, Python uh, to automate the tax audit reporting. So uh, the problem statement is some of the tax audit. Uh, clauses are uh, can be automated and uh, it requires accurate data. Uh, we cannot, uh, uh, which requires uh, manual verification of data uh, and manual extraction of data. That is, uh, our clients would send the PDFs, salons, and other details uh, where we need to manually extract the data. Uh, this this part can be automated. As you can see, uh, you saw a folder here with a lot of chalans and uh, uh, other text files which had the information. We are going to automate. Uh, we are going to automate straight from there to the final reporting part itself using Python. So our objective is to get the final report in this format. Sorry. Uh, final report in this format, uh, which is clause uh, 34A reporting uh, as per the tax audit report 3C. Uh, that is tedious amount, uh, total amount specified nature, section, nature of payment, some liable to tedious and the director details. All this information, we are going to get it straight from the challenge uh, acknowledgements and the text file, which we use to file the returns. So, uh, so the tools which I have been using is Python. Uh, that is, I am using Anaconda Navigator. Uh, in Anaconda Navigator, we have Jupyter Notebook. I, I personally prefer Ju Jupyter Notebook uh, to do the coding. Uh, and the libraries which I have used is Pandas, OS, PDF Plumber, Re, and uh, OpenPY Excel. So the approach which I am going to, uh, which I am going to take to do this. Uh, this kind of reporting is step by step approach. Uh, if we don't do step by step approach, uh, I will show you what happens. Sorry. First, I, first I will paste this prompt. I want you to read all the PDF files in this folder. I have specified the folder path and extract the information, date, quarter, form number, tax deducted details, and combine the information in reporting as deductor, TAN, form number, quarter, due date, and date of filing. Uh, I'm, 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 ent I'm entering the entire, uh, entire reporting part as the prompt. Uh, let us see whether this prompt works or not. Sorry. So the first prompt which I gave, it gave me with the Python code. I copy pasted this Python code and pasted it here. It gave me an error. So what I do is I copy this error and paste it again. If I paste that again, it uh, I, cop I copy this error and paste it again to the chat GPT. It gave me another, uh, another Python code. Uh, if I run this Python code, I'm getting a empty data. So this will be a never ending process. So what we can do is we do a step-by-step -step approach. So the first step is I'm just extracting one particular PDF. I will first extract 
this particular PDF, 24Q, Q4 acknowledgement. I'm just extracting this one particular PDF. So uh, I'm really sorry uh, to navigate between the screens. Uh, yeah, no other option. So first, when I read this PDF file, I, I'm getting the entire PDF, uh, PDF as an output here. So I will copy this output as such, and I will I will paste it to the prompt, uh, stating that in the in in this particular line I have the name of the deductor, and then in 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 the next particular line I will have the date, PAN number, uh, PAN number, periodicity, form number, uh, well the quarter details and other things. I will paste that as a prompt. Sorry. I'll paste that as a prompt here, and I, I and I asked for a full Python code here. So when I when I when I run this Python code, when I run this Python code, it gives me the exact details. That is date twenty fourth April, tan number quarter four, and global hearing aid private limited. It gave, it gave the name of the detector. Now next. So uh, next next prompt which I'm going to do is now I want a full Python code to generate this report as to generate this report of all the PDFs including form 26Q and 24Q in the in the entire folder itself. So when I run this code now, it will give me all the details. It will give me all the details and uh, uh, and it will be saved in the. Excel file itself, and it will be saved in the Excel file itself. I can show you the Excel file also. It runs all it it extracts the data from all the PDFs, and it gives me the final output with the reporting. Next part is. Next part is we need the section wise details also in section wise. Uh, the amount deducted and uh, sorry, the deductible amount that is uh, amount liable for TDS and the TDS amount as per section wise. For this Python code, what I'm going to do is if you see this text file. It will have information like this: the the deducted details. This ten thousand is the TDS deducted. One lakh is the amount liable for TDS. All this information, I'm going to paste it as one line, and I'm going to specify the exact point where the information will be available. That is, ten thousand will be in the thirteenth thirteenth position. Deductible amount will be in the twenty first position. Section will be. Uh, specified as 94j and so on now when i run the run, now when i run this python code i will get the complete report i will get the complete report as specified in the form 3 cd report so when we do like this in a step by step approach i i'm i'm going to do this sorry i'm going to do this in a step by step approach so that I will get the final final report as required. Not only that, even if I change the path here, it will get, it doesn't belong to one particular client. Even if I change the path to another client, still I get the uh, desired output. I have, I'm changing the path to a different client. And so the last I'm minute, this. please. Yes, 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 sir, sure. I, I have got the final TDS report for the other client also. If you see here, this person has. Sorry, it is open. 
the same name. So let me open it again. If you see here, this particular client does not have details of all the sections. For him, only three sections are applicable. So the report will dynamically change to each client as required. So that 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 how powerful the Python code uh, Python code is and and uh, uh, Chat GPT prompts and Python code will support you. So uh, that is it, sir. Uh, in short, AI supports us. AI and ChatGPT helps us uh, simplifying the manual uh, processing of data. Sure. Thank you, Vishnuji. Yes. And uh, so one thing which I want to ask, uh, so Python is reading your PDF files, it is reading your text files. Which file Python cannot read? Which type of file? An image or image extractor is also available sir there are libraries which extracts image also there are libraries uh, which can unzip the data uh, mm -hmm. there are libraries which can remove the background of the image and give you the give you only the subject of the image i i have done all those things also uh, in, uh, if you go to google and uh, uh, ask it to remove the background of the image only few pictures you can do uh, mm. If you install that library in Python code and upload that image, it uh, it can remove the background of any number of images. So mm. that way it is uh, useful. And uh, regarding combining the PDFs uh, in in the in Google, we can only in Google applications we can only combine up to ten or twenty PDFs. If we use Python, we can combine uh, any number of PDFs using the libraries available in Python. So in short, you want to say that it can read any type of file and work with any type of file. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it is about our knowledge on which library to use. To use. But and I think help that of knowledge... Sorry, with yeah, you help... were about to say the same. Sorry, sir. With help of AI, we will be able to identify the library also. Absolutely. So we, did, we need not know which library. Yes, it will yes tell exactly. You. Okay, this is great. Yes. So can you go back to your PPT? Uh, I mean, yes. three, four slides back. Yes, sir. Where you mentioned that I will be using these, 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 everything, right? Jupiter was there, Chat GPT was there. Ah, yes, sir. Ah, I, I'm using uh, Python Anaconda Navigator, Excel, Panda, okay, and did... Chat GPT. Okay, okay, okay. Did you use Anaconda? Anaconda Navigator, sir. It, Navigator. It's called as, sorry. Uh, it, it is Anaconda Navigator. Uh, hmm. uh, it's yeah, it's over here. Yeah. Here, we, we have many tools. It has Jupyter Notebook. It has Spider. It has uh, it has many tools. Sir, R Studio is also available in Anaconda Navigator. Many such tools. Hmm. And you use one of it, which is Jupyter. Uh, I use Jupyter Notebook. Sir, I use Jupyter Notebook, and for few status basic statistic calculations, I use R Studio. Any any particular reason for using Jupyter? I know a lot of people use it. Uh, ah, sir, of... uh, I I will show you. Say, for example, Jupyter Notebooks gives you the, uh, I have I have tried nine times this code. Only mm. in the ninth time, I have got the result correctly. This is line number nine. And similarly, okay. uh, why I use Jupyter Notebook is, for example, if I use capital P here, the code mm. will not work. And the color of the print is black in color. The code will not work. Mm -hmm. One second, sir. Sorry. The code will not work because uh, the because it has a capital P. If I use small p, the color changes to green color. Now, if I run the code, it will work. So to identify the differences, uh, Jupyter Jupyter notebook work. Uh, Jupyter notebook is uh, helpful. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Some but again, if you use capital P in any other notebook or any other. Um, layer so it, it will not run there also right uh yes sir it it, it will work uh, in in uh, in text files it won't work in some other mm -hmm. uh, python uh, books it will work uh, uh i can i i am used to this 
this particular notebook because yes. it has it has an option to interpret the kernels and other things. I I'm I'm very well used to this uh, Jupyter notebook, sir. Mm -hmm. So that's why I use Jupyter notebook, and I personally prefer this one. Jupyter only, yes. Great. Uh, thank you, Vishnuji, for your use case. Yes, sir. Thank, uh, you. thank you so much. And I'm not sure whether the last participant, uh, Asmita Deshpandeji, is 